What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I realize that the only thing that I really haven't accomplished up to this point is winning with regard to fitness. So, I decided to reconfigure some things, move my calendar around, and make this my number one priority again. And again, I think a lot of the times the objective is always about money. You know, we tap into money and we try to make that the priority because we don't even try. Like, that just becomes the priority. But we focus so much on resources because by default, I'm just a uh, serial entrepreneur. So, you know, the majority of my schedule is based off of everything that I have to do from a business perspective, taking on another corporate gig, um, running my businesses, content creation, things like that. But I've decided to move some things around. So I still get up at 4.30 a.m. As a matter of fact, it is 4.48. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, maybe I can show you my phone. 4.48 a.m. Got the Thanos wallpaper popping off. And still getting up at 4.30 a.m. That's not a problem at all. Just programmed and built to do that. But now we're gonna dedicate ourselves to fitness. First thing we're gonna do is fitness every morning. Instead of getting caught up with uh, getting straight to work, you know, praying and stuff like that. Now we're gonna start dedicating ourselves to the next and final frontier, which I believe is the next thing that elevates me to what it is that I really wanna be in life. And it all revolves around fitness. Hour later, I got our workout in. It was absolutely awesome. I'm pretty happy with my team, my life, and to be able to take on this next journey. I'm almost 40, literally midlife. That is such a blessing. Like I used to think that it would be a curse to get older, but it's actually a blessing. It's one of the most phenomenal things ever. I'm incredibly blessed. I'm incredibly thankful. Thankful for having my bag chasers and a group of people in the tribe that's going in the direction that I'm going in. I could not be more appreciative. If you have not already, subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Well, I usually say pinned to the top of the chat because I'm live streaming in the morning, but it's definitely in the description if this isn't a premiere. But I'm incredibly thankful. I got a team of people that's pushing me when it comes to my, my fitness. I got a team of people that's pushing me when it comes to good character, teams of people that's pushing me when it comes to finances. I did a video yesterday where I talked about talk me out of getting into the restaurant business and you guys almost have, almost. I know I'm, I'm, not, I'm not completely out of the idea. I'm just working through all the logistics in my head. But I am, I'm incredibly thankful. It's a Thursday, which means that we're gonna be doing late night live streaming, but I still wanna get up in the morning and work out because I wanna be consistent. The key to being successful is being consistent and I preach this across the board. It don't just come with regard to money and character and you know relationships and marriage and stuff. It also plays this role with regard to fitness. I know, I've done this before. This isn't my first rodeo and go round, so you know. This time we want to keep it off instead of losing focus and dedicating ourselves to everything but fitness because, you know, we reprioritize things. You get done what's important to you. That's absolutely true. So um, dedicated to the fitness, thankful. Um, so I'll probably get a decent nap in today because I know I'm going to be live streaming tonight way into the early morning. And that's the thing. I use my calendar as my Bible and that's the thing that's going to keep me on point keep me consistent, so as long as I have it in my calendar, I know I'm gonna abide by it. But I just had to move some things around in order to make sure that, you know, we prioritize what's the most important, which is our health. I put that last, and thankfully I can get to that. And um, I did accomplish all of my goals so far. 
So now we make new goals. Guess where I am, guys? I am at a hardware store. Do you know why I'm at a hardware store with disco music playing in the background and it's a snowstorm happening outside? It's because I was supposed to have a really, um, my iPhone 13 Pro. I ordered it to replace my green phone, uh, which is the money phone, which is not the red one, but the green one, right? The green one is a 12. Um, and it said that it got delivered, but guess what happened? I never got a package. So we did a little bit of investigative work and we tapped in with Apple and tapped in with uh, UPS. And they said that the package was delivered here. They gave us proof. They said it was nine packages delivered here. And they know for a fact it was delivered here. But guess what the employees are saying here? That they don't know where this mysterious package that had Apple on it is at all. And it's funny because it'd either be getting delivered here or next door, a lot of people's packages, according to UPS and what the lady was telling us. Um, I got some business to go take care of and I got to get ready for the Lapeef Let's Talk show and all of that. But um, what a headache, man. What a headache. What a turn of events for the day. This day has been very, very difficult to say the least. I got business to take care of. I ain't got time to be sitting here doing all of this. Absolute foolishness. Don't nobody know nothing. But neither here nor there. Doesn't bother me much. Just really a major inconvenience. Look at all of this snow. Look at all of this snow. Snow galore. See the, uh, the Tucson? Snow galore. I plan on making it a great show today, regardless of what the piss is going on. Um, I hope they enjoy that iPhone. Uh, really just a minor inconvenience, but I... Ugh, look at me, I can't even get in the car no more. I hope that they enjoy it, whoever has it. I think it might have even been a UPS guy that has it, to be honest with you. Schemes. Somebody, UPS guy. Rita is a bulldog out here. Jesus. She got her Louis Vuitton purse on and she said, I'm going <laughs> in today. <laughs> and so we back like we never left. You know what I'm saying? Back in the gym. It's not that I'm necessarily trying to do two a days. I'm actually probably about to watch a little TV over there, turn that TV on over there. Uh, get my lift on, get some cardio on. Really just closing off these uh, these rings. I'm at 843 for the day, but I got a couple hours before the Lapeef Let's Talk show. So, just gonna chill out. Get a couple of, a little bit of cardio in, a little bit of lifting in, I ate good. Had a really, really, really clean salad, courtesy of uh, Rita. And uh, let me get this popping really quickly. Walk, cool. Had a clean salad, uh, do the Rita. And I ain't tripping off that little iPhone. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing. I ain't tripping off that, not even a little bit. Life is good. So what, a little bit of inconvenience. Actually, I might just go ahead and buy a, buy another one before they even refund my, refund me my money. Because, you know, I just pay for it in full um, and just have it shipped to me. But I might just uh, buy another one, let them refund me my money, and then keep it moving from there. So, yeah, just a minor inconvenience. It's funny because uh, it was somebody else that apparently, you know, once I got back to my building and I was talking to, you know, a buddy... Not a buddy, but somebody else that's in the building. It's a snowstorm going on out there. And they was all incensed and upset and all of that. And I was just thinking to myself, and I told him, I said, it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but ain't no sweat off your back. It might take you a week or a couple of weeks to get your money back or whatever. But we ain't tripping off that. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting uh, life's circumstances determine how you're going to react. Dad always told me, life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. 
we're not tripping off this little bit of stuff, man. We're just going to keep it moving. We're going to keep getting to the money. And we're going to let the chips fall where they may. You know what I'm saying? I actually can't wait to get on the show tonight because some way, somehow, talking has become my thing. It has become my thing to talk and have great conversations. You know what I'm saying? So, just a little light vlog for y'all. Kicking it, having a good time. I'm actually considering, a, well, I'll save that for another vlog, another day. Too many ideas to get out. Don't want to conflate it all up in one, one little thing or whatever like that, but stay focused, my friends. And I'm not doing two a days, let's be clear. It's just that I'm finding healthier outlets rather than get all mad and flip out and stuff like that. I'm finding healthier outlets. Might as well do something and be productive instead of letting a little small situation or circumstances determine my outcome. You know what I'm saying? Positive energy, y'all, 2022. All money in, no money out. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to see y'all on the People's Talk Show tonight. Peace.